Hello and welcome to Tax TV, Neil here. We've got a full team in today. We've got Dale, Dave and Andy. Um, hope you've had a good Christmas and we into fixtures again. Quick turn around, fleet will coming up. Going to just briefly go over uh, Ackington weekend game. A, a, a fair bit's been said about it, but I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions about this. Andy, I'll come to you. Uh, your thoughts on it. I've had my say about yeah. uh, referee and yeah. matter if it's man or woman, I'm not being disrespectful at all. You've still got to call it out. Yeah. Uh, appreciate him. Um, I thought we should have took his chances, if I'm being honest. And I'm surprised mm -hmm. with the amount of subs didn't get used, i.e. Jallo. But, yeah. yeah, I'll come over to you, Andy. Uh, what, what's your take on it, mate? Right. Okay, cheers. Um, just before we get to performance and whatnot, uh, team, um, first off, uh, I've said this on my own channel, but obviously this is a far, far better, a bigger channel. So I, I, I want to say it on here as well, if that's all right. Yeah, go um, first of all, that's what... It, well, it is the worst ground I've ever been to, Fleetwood, <laughs> uh, without a shadow of a doubt. And I'm not exaggerating, I'm including Frickley Athletic in that, because there's not much difference. That ground is shocking. It's a non-league club, uh, sorry, non-league ground in, in league. And however it got passed um, to enter league, it, it must be... Very, very bare minimum, it's got to be. Um, I've never seen that like it. It, it, it was just shocking. Um, we uh, we went um in standing area, um, me and Maddie were up near the scoreboard, um, right at top. Um, yeah, well, absolutely belting it down with snow, sleet, everything really. Um, so it didn't help, but. That's obviously not built for that type of weather because it, it was like an ice rink trying to walk on that anyway, um, which isn't safe. Mm -hmm. And if there were an emergency, me and Maddie would have stood absolutely no chance. Um, we were right in corner. Them yellow stair things, for some reason, uh, they blocked it off near the top so you can't actually use that as a gangway. Really? Um, yeah, um, where I was stood, I thought this was the right spot, this, because I'm not going to get moved. I was fed up. It, it was like, I, I, it, I felt like a judge at a limbo uh, competition. People kept getting, going under barriers where I was stood. Um, now we would have stood no chance whatsoever if there were an emergency. Um, so, yeah, um, if there's any Accrington fans, I'm sorry, but that ground is dreadful. And any away fans that this is ours. God almighty. Uh, mm. Ours is like Wembley compared to that. It, it, it's shocking. And I thought Peterborough were bad, but that's in a different class of its own. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's grand issue. Um, but all the things they did get right, and I think all clubs should do it, on a lot of clubs. Um, parking. Um, I, parked, I was one at first year because we got there quite early so we could have something to drink and whatnot. Uh, he says it's a donation just give what you want and that's it and I think that's a brilliant thing for parking especially with cost of living so they've got that right um, I, give, I give them a fiver anyway because on average that's what you spend anyway but I think that's brilliant That so they've got that right um, but yeah the second one is Sorry, um, it, it, no, it's right, mate. You can't, it, look, it, at end of the day, you've got to call it as you see it, and yeah. you know if it's on your mind and stuff like that. And it's like what we said to everybody: um, you, you come on and say what you got to say, just be respectful, yeah. and you've been you you slayed no. and all like that. But you vented well, your uh, frustrations, and that's what it's all about, mate. The second point, and this app, I, I was cringing when I heard it. Yeah, referee were poor. Let's let's not beat about bush. Mm -hmm. if you were poor. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, when you stood representing your club, because that's what we are, with fans of Barnsley Football Club, and the sexist comments towards referee because she's female, mm -hmm. I thought that was way out of order, bang out of order. do not matter if the female, male, or whatever race, if they were a bad game, they deserve to be let known that they are having a bad game. But some of the sex, sexist comments that were around me were, I was embarrassed, mm. if I'm honest. It, it were like, I mean, it was like standing in, um, going to a football game anyway in 80s stood up and it certainly mm. were with comments that were around me. 
Um, the club's just been fined 30, 30 count, though. Exactly. Um, stuff, that's what I'm going to say. That, <clears throat> what I heard at Accrington, is no different to that. Mm. So if that does get picked up, we'll be fined again. Mm. Because mm. It, it, it will absolutely... I was, it was disgusting. Uh, there were kids around there, um, so God knows what they think. Obviously, there's uh, female fans as well, um, yeah. but there's no need for it. Yeah, like I said, that referee were poor, but the phrases that were being shouted at and abused at right. that referee, end of day, that's somebody's daughter. That's that's somebody. That could be somebody's mum. Nah, that just doing a job. It don't matter. Male, female, or whatever. If ever a bad day, which she did, call it art. But sexist comments. Now, for me, wrong, and they should be ashamed of the sense. Honestly, should. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that's me ran over with with that. <laughs> All right, mate. But, but yeah, there we go. I had to get it off my chest because it, it was bugging me. It's it's no one is. It, no it, it was right. poor. It was bang out of order. I'll let you have, have five. I'll let you have a chill. <laughs> and then we'll come to, come to you. So, Dale, uh, coming to you, mate. I mean, obviously, Andy's like, uh, quite rightly said about the state of ground and stuff like that. Health and safety issues and as well, the sexist, sexist comments as well. But on what you've you've seen regarding, you know, poor officiating, you know, it, it won't just for... For me, it won't just for like about the referee. It won't sort of linesman what miss the potential... Offside for their build up to the game, uh, build up for goal, sorry, in that game. Mm -hmm. what, what's your taking it? Should we have been more clinical? For me, we should we put it to bed in first half. Um, I'm I'm not surprised about the poor poorness of referee in this in this league, Neil. <coughs> I'm, I'm I'm not surprised. Um, I think that I'm I've got to agree with 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 Andy. I think every race, every gender should have a, a place in football. I, I've got to agree with that. Um I've got to disagree on the, the on Accrington on on because I think it's a great away day. I do. I, I've been before. I've been in them conditions. Um I think it's a great away day. Yeah the safety of fans could be better. Um but I feel like I think it's a classic away day, you know, no rule for other ends, no, you know, you're standing, it's, you know, you've got 2,000, some hundred fans there. Um, I, th I think it's a really good away day, Accrington. Uh, I think it's one of the best I've, I've, I've been to. Um, on the match itself, I feel like that um, we were the better side. Um it, it was a penalty. It was a penalty. I, 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 it, it was on ball. Um, but I feel like the build-up to it could have been handled a little bit better. Um, I feel like that we were the better side. Um, no disrespect to Accrington. The fighting for the lives down at bottom at league. Um, but I feel like now's the time to realise that we need some players in this squad. I think that game with better finishers, better quality on that field would have been 3-4-0 up at half-time. I, th I think it could have been a 5-6-0 game at, at full-time. It's, it's about time now that we that we put, that we we pick out the poor, poor players in this team now. Not the people that are shining, but the poor players, the the, the players that aren't. What aren't would you as, in that game? What would you deem as poor, though? Because just bearing in mind, before this game, we had yeah. we were five unbeaten, so we haven't just gone poor, have they? So majority well, of the side has, has, has that's been the same on it. That's because Neil, that the the players that we <clears throat> that we. Say a good of Sean, of Sean, Luke Connell, Adam Phillips, Anderson, uh, Benson, uh, Cadden, Williams. Our front, our front is our front line is probably one of the worst front lines I've seen at Barnsley Football Club. 
I, I'm not. I'm not even exaggerating over that. Devante Cole for me isn't good enough. I don't care how many goals he's scored. I don't. I don't care. I think you're a bit harsh on Devante Cole because that's an improvement from beginning of season to now, Vardell. Yeah, but uh, and if he were a good player, he wouldn't be here. Neil, well, you could have about a lot of players went inside, couldn't you? Really, surely. Yeah, I mean, you could have about Anderson. You could have about about players what you just mentioned, but uh, yeah, but Anderson's. He's grown in. He's grown in this team. He's grown so in this team. So are you were saying that Devante Cole's not grown in this team, man, under Duff? I, I want. I want to say he has, but I. I think he's. He, he has one good game, and then for the for the three or four, he don't. It, you, he's not consistent enough, Neil. I, I mean, there's James Norwood as well. He, he scores one in every ten. I, I mean. Yeah, we've but we've brought him in for experience, for that, for that uh, mentality game, for getting things over the line. Yeah, he chases ball down. Yeah, he gets on other people's nerves. But we've brought him to to finish goals. We, his record at Ipswich was poor. Tramier, yeah, that were his best. That were his best season. I think now we need to. Uh, uh, we need somebody better in. We need. We need. Championship, qual- we need championship quality. If we've got to, if we've got, if if we've got to push for that playoff place, for that automatic place. Look at Ipswich, Chaplin, Ladapo, Freddie, Lad- Freddie Ladapo is there's um, there's loads of players. You know, the, look at Wednesday. They've got Lee Gregory. They've got Windass. They've got you know. I mean, I mean, our front, our front line isn't good enough, Neil. I, I, I've got to say it. Our, our, our front line isn't good enough, in my opinion. I well, think that's not been a new problem, has it? We've said that all season, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, and and, 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 and I'm going to say it again. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. What's the word? I'm not bought into this Devante Cole thing that we've got a song about him and he's great and all that stuff. I, I don't buy into it. I cheer when he scores, yeah, because it's Barnsley Football Club who I'm cheering for, not Devante Cole. I want I want Devante Cole to prove me wrong. I want him to prove me wrong. I've said to you I've said to you this plenty of times in the past before. If he proves if he gets me twenty if he gets this club twenty to twenty five goals this season or whatever any season, he'll prove me wrong. But I I don't I don't rate the guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I don't I don't rate the guy. And I think that the perf- Duff said it himself. We we've, we had a lack of finishing quality on Saturday after the game. He said it himself, it, and, and I agree with him. I, I don't know what you fellas think about it, but I agree with Michael Duff that the quality of finishing in our front three, Aitchinson, Norwood, and Cole, isn't good enough. Interesting, uh, but like I say, I think for me, my own personal taking it, I think Devante Cole has been an improved player. I said that he needs a, a striking partner that he's going to be settled with. Aitchin didn't even get a look in. Uh, we're playing against Norwood, who scored a goal against Appington. Uh, for me, Adam Phillips has been chipping him at goals, and we said this about Luke Thomas when he picked up injury, went through that blip with goals weren't coming anywhere. Adam Phillips slotted into it. Dave, I mean, what do you think on that? You know, just going through Accrington game, uh, you know, finishing quality aside, do you think any players have been poor? Do you, you know, do you rate Devante Cole? Um, I agree with what Dale said about we haven't got a good front line and we, and like you said, we haven't for a long time. I mean, we've not had a great striker since, um, forgive me for saying this, but Sam Winnell, you know, he was, uh, he, he could finish. You know, from outside the box or inside the box, he was usually in the right place at the right time. I don't think the positioning of our strikers is very good. Um, Cole plays too deep for me. Uh, I think it's a bit harsh saying that he's not a good player because I think he's a good player. He does lots for the team. You know, he chips in with the goals. Uh, he wins the ball. He chases all over the pitch. But he, he should be in the six-yard box. That's, that's where a striker should be. And the fact that he's not playing in... A front two that's the same game in game out. That's my main concern. You, you know, you, you, you're pretty much certain you're going to get Cole on the team sheet. You know, I, you fully expect to see that. But you know, it could be anyone who's playing up front with him. 
you know, yeah. Norwood, Aitchison, and no, I don't rate either of those two as strikers. You know, I, I think Norwood's got the ability, but he's just so frustrating. He's shown what he can do, but he just does it, you know, few and far between in games, like, like Dale says. One in every ten, it's just not good enough. And Aitchison's not proved himself for me. Um, I know they keep switching people around. You need to go around the team. Uh, Duff doesn't know his front two. And, you know, it's blatantly obvious. But um, I thought the lack of quality balls into the box, you know, was as bad as the finishing on on Boxing Day. You know, some of the set pieces, they weren't beating the first man. Yeah, you know, there was even the corners. I mean, corn, amount of corners we were having as well, it were like, we're not even putting back, keep under pressure, are we really? Mm. We were. You know, we got Anderson in the box, you know, we <laughs> stick it on his head, you know, stick it on Kitchen's head. You know, you've got some big players in there. Mm. And for me, it's, you know, like it's been said already, we could have been four or five mil up by half time. Accrington were the worst team I've seen this season by a long way. And I've been watching Newport County games in League Two as well. And some of the teams down there have played better than Accrington have. Uh, they they showed more fight for it in the second half. They wanted it more in the second half for them. But they they were they're not a, a League One side, you know, they're they're League Two at best. Mm. And uh, their antics throughout the game really frustrating for me. They yeah. were chasing the referee every single challenge. They got <coughs> Connell, that Connell yellow card it was never a yellow card. And that's what changed the game. Mm. You know, he had that where he jumped into the player after that, where he got his last warning. You know, that probably would have been a yellow card. Mm. But the first one, never a yellow card. And their players were chasing the referee, you know, kicking up dust, making all sorts of accusations against him. And um, is it Hamilton? Then Hamilton, chasing all time. Yeah. Game, he was absolutely pathetic. Mm. Absolutely pathetic. He was like a child that wasn't allowed to play with his toys. Yeah. He really was stamping his feet. No, he was a horrible player. One mm. of the worst professionals I've seen on the football field. And that, that was a killer, that was a killer change in the game for me. Collins mm. guard. You know, he was he was looking good. You know, he's been really good over the last couple of games. We have to change our game at half time. The weather conditions didn't help with the pitch getting saturated and it played into Accrington's hands. But the game should have been over by then anyway, regardless of you know, whether regardless of poor refereeing. I agree with the referee. She was horrendous, you know, but they're all horrendous in this league, you know, but she didn't really seem to know what she was doing. Even when she was setting free kicks up and all that, you know, she wasn't behaving like other referees behave. Mm. And when she charged over to the, was the Accrington dugout and branched the Accrington. other car, yeah. I'm not really quite sure what that was all about. It was just literally ran over and did it. Mm. You know, like you see in, like in the World Cup, you know, some, you know, in this league, you know, they go over and have a word first. You know, if there's an issue, we'll go have a word. If it persists, you know, then brandish the yellow card. But, you know, the only the only name I could pick out worse than that referee performance was Steve Martin. You know, mm. he's the worst c- current uh, referee in the, the game for me at the moment. But, you know, she was up there and it didn't help. But I'm not using that as an excuse. Mm. I saw the penalty uh, in real time. My internet went down literally as the penalty was awarded. So I didn't get to see any replays. So I didn't see if it was, if it wasn't. And I only got the one look at Cole getting tripped in the box. Mm-hmm. So couldn't tell if that was or not. But, you know, like I said, it should have been dead and buried by then. We've got no one to blame but ourselves. And, you know, like uh, like Andy said, like Dale said, like you said, we need new personnel in there. You know, we do. You know, when when, when Connell came off, it just changed our game plan. And we, we just didn't seem to have a plan B. You know, mm-hmm. we, we seemed to struggle in the second half. And we need players that can come in and replace Connell and... You know, nothing against Matty Wolf. I think he's a decent player. You know, he's just come back from injury. But you need someone that can instantly replace Connell and brings to the game what he does. And we didn't have that. And, you know, it's cost us. Yeah, I mean, two points dropped. It felt like a loss to me. Um, yeah. I, I watched it and I've re-watched it back. For me, Atkinson didn't deserve out, didn't deserve out out in it. To be fair, if I'm being honest, I've, I still like questioning it like now. Like, did we get a point up from it? Um, the antics and stuff like that. What, like you said, uh, via Dave Hamilton just chasing about, getting it refs here, I'm just complaining literally of a slight little thing. But again, plays into that kind of game and mindset, gives referee, regardless of who it is, a second thoughts and second doubts. And then you start questioning it. Going on to the Fleetwood game, I mean, it, we left it well, lastminute.com when we were at their place, Andy. Uh, kind of know what we're going to get with Fleetwood. It's going to be one of them games where the drop seems to be draw specialists. Can't really set league on yeah. fire, but another tough 
awkward kind of game at Oakwell under lights, would you say? Yeah, they're going to set up and uh, I think they'll try and set up and uh, try and frustrate us. Um, when backed at forwards, um, at first we thought Norwood and Cole were the socks off at Accrington on a sladool. Um, me and Maddie's always said um, we think they're a bit too similar in play, in style. Um, I've said for ages we need at least another two strikers in to change it up. Mm. I've said that for ages. Um, can, and I, can, I just, can I just, can I just say something? When he came I'm on, sorry, he sorry, was I'm awful. Sorry. Might as well have not. Might as well have just took Connell off and not bothered with him. He, he was terrible. Um, I, I'd definitely send him back without a doubt. Uh, but yeah, uh, Fleetwood um, would be a tough one. Barring any injuries, niggles or anything, I think uh, it'll be more or less the same uh, set up. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, really am. Uh, but it's going to be a tough one. Uh, like I said, they'll, they'll make it tough for us, definitely. Well, Edwards and Benson are still out. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think there's any fresh injuries coming into this game against Fleetwood. So you'd kind of more or less say it's going to be a similar lineup than Andy. Yeah. I would say so, yeah. Yeah, cool. Dale, I mean, no mm-hmm. fresh injuries, no, uh, it's going to be the same personnel that's going to be out, such as like Edwards and that, uh, Benson, <laughs> Phillips, again, unsure if he's uh, going to be 100% up for it kind of thing, because he's, he's not long since come back, but looking at team sheet, is it going to be more or less similar, or the same, probably, uh, line up against Fleetwood? Um, I want it to be the same. Neil, um, I feel. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I want it to be the same. I, I think the more the game time they get, the players, I feel like they'll uh, they'll start performing. You know, we 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 didn't go five unbeaten for no reason. Um, <clears throat> I feel. I, I just want to go back on Andy's point that. The players put the effort in. Yeah, they put the effort in, but I don't... I, the strikers, you know what I mean? They've got to put ball up back at net as well as putting effort in. Um, <clears throat> I went to Fleetwood away. Again, that was another game that we should have that we should have been more comfortable in. Uh, Ever said again, that vote against Fleetwood for Faith and for the Lives and VR draw especially, so... You kind of know they're not. It's not going to be a two, three, four, five nauter, is it, Matt? No, 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 no. But I feel like we we were strong against Fleetwood. We what we were strong against them um, away or away. Um, I but I think that uh, I think I think we've got to go for the same same team. I really do. I feel like, like I said, the more the more game time the players get, the the more together they are, the more connected they are. So, yeah, I'd, for me, same lineup, same lineup for me. Same lineup. Dave, <clears throat> just going back. I mean, more or less, Andy and Dale's like said it. Same lineup against the Fleetwood side. Oh, we know that, like I said, the, the draw especially. So it's going to be an awkward game. I mean. It's going to be one of them kind of sides where they're going to frustrate you, and it's down to us to try and take game to them and not to be like get sucked in and you know come away with a draw kind of thing. In it, it's down to us to implement our game onto them and right from starting it and take his chances because I don't think we're going to be, in my opinion, I don't think we're going to get as many chances against Fleetwood like we did against Hackington. So when we do attack him, it's got to be clinical, Dave. Um, I think you've got to keep the same team. Um, like Dale says, you need them playing together regularly. But apart from that, I think they're going to be quite. It's going to be quite a similar game. You know, Accrington were really just above the bottom, bottom four or hmm. bottom four. Just and I think Fleetwood are a few places above them. I think it's going to be one of those games that we've seen so much this season. Fleetwood away, Accrington away, where you know we, we're going to struggle because they don't play football. You know they. They're not like your Peterboroughs or your, your Ipswichers or your Wednesdays where they're, they're going to try and play football. And they, obviously, unless you play football, 
you know, they're going to go for the draw. That's, you know, draw for them tomorrow. It's going to be a great result. Yeah. You know, teams, especially teams down the lower end, go the way to Oakwell and get a point. You know, they're going to be happy with that. And I think it's going to be, you know, the similar sort of performance from the opposition. So, you know, Duff thought the team was right on Boxing Day. I agree with that. Um, they just need to work on their finishing and their balls into the box. You know, that's we lack in so much in that area. And we do need to score. The strikers need to score more goals. Fortunately, we've got goals from all over the pitch, which have helped us this season. But if we'd have had a few more of those corners in, you know, or mm. some of the free kicks in, or the pat that killer ball just a little bit better, you know, and put the ball into the box. You know, Cole knows where the goal is. If he gets the ball in the six yard box, or edge of the six yard box, in the 18 yard box, you know, he's going to more times than not get a shot on target or score. But he, just, he needs to stop playing so deep for me. You know, we need to push that midfield forward a little bit and, you know, get, get him in the box more. And, um, yeah, just work on those set pieces. You know, yeah. we've got Anderson, you know, who can knock it in with his head. We've got, you know, we've got some tall players. But the balls into the box, especially from corners on Monday, were, were terrible. They need, they need working on. If we can improve on those, you know, then we, there's more goals there. There's a lot more goals there. You know, and that's going to help us. But same again for me. And... Um, Stuck to a better performance. I look for a better referee, but like you say, in this league, you're not going to get one here, really. They're all pretty much the same, but um, hopefully we haven't got a, an Hamilton in the Fleetwood team that's going to run around and chase the referee all game. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with that. I mean, I think we had something like 15 or 16 corners, and out of them, it's like we never, especially in conditions, we never really tested keeper, and that was frustrating because, mm. like I said, we've got Anderson, we've got Kitchen, you've got Cole, we've got some item there, you know, Matty Wolf, the second half, we've got item there, at least put it in danger, but but it, it won't. That was frustrating part for me, so I'm hoping that's been worked on all. We've, we've had a not a check up, but something to get worked on and say, look, rather than just keep putting it in box, play it short, cover it back, and try something different because. It was too predictable and it was just it was catching practice safe at time for them. Um and I get where you come for referees. I mean, the thing the thing that frustrates me as well is that if a, a if a referee has a poor game at Premier League, they get to EFL. And it's like we we've got to put up with it. So I can't see why it should be any different. Why if you have a bad game for us, why why we get demoted down? Because at the end of the day, I'm supposed to be getting judged on the performances and all that kind of stuff and reports and I'd like to see referees come out and be held accountable. We know we're not going to get it because they've never, it's been asked for years, hasn't it? We're even in Premier when we've like turned around and said, right, we've had a so and so, so can you come out and explain it? But we get it like a week later, we will say, oh, yeah, it, but that's too late. It's damage has been done to them clubs, what's like lost points. Mm-hmm. So well, for me, it's like, for sure, there should be some kind of, well, I know the standards and stuff, but we don't seem to get it. Is, is I think, what we good at at Pyramids, what's the referees get? For me, I don't know what your guys think. Well, yeah, that's a good that, idea, that. I'd that, like a league why, table, but for refs. Bar in, yeah. That's why yeah. they brought VAR in, isn't it? To, for referees that to get more. Uh, no, but not yeah. in EFL. Well, no, no, I mean in Premier League. So then referees in Premier League don't have to explain themselves. You know what I mean? I, I, I think I think referees need more help. I feel sorry for referees. I really do. I, I, I feel they've got the hardest job in football, in my opinion. Um, and 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 you and you know we're saying that uh, Accrington were in referees' face every single time. We don't do that at all. I, I, I've never I've never seen our players getting referees' faces. I've, so what I've, happened then? If players, I mean, what about this then? Because it were brought in a couple of seasons ago, and it seems to have gone out the window. Where when players were going to referees' ears and giving verbals and uh, complaining, they were supposed to be getting booked. That seems to have just gone by the by, doesn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I get where you're coming from with that, and we're too probably naive and don't do it as much. But again, this is where I, I come back on, is like, if you, if, ref, if the referee isn't game of getting judged, and the, you know, like what Andy said, be like a bit of a league table on uh, referees to see the performance and stuff like that, I'd handle games. I mean, I'm, I remember going back years and years now, with a certain referees, when it was old first division, not Premier League, when it was first division proper, for second and third and all that. I remember certain referees in Via, they sent to have a, a joke and a banter with some of the players. Mm. Now it seems to be like we're in a world of his own. It's like the team's versus and referee wants to be on his own like little show. 
to talk about stuff and even you know Sky Sports for we get a referee in and be an analyst. Oh, what what's our web think about it? Sort of a, why is it about referees all of a sudden? Sure, it's about football as a general, but we seem yeah. to be making certain referees like up on being a pedestal for good or bad. Just have it as one collective, surely. I don't know what y'all think of it. Yeah. Well, on, on, for, for World Cup, you know, they had a they had a referee. I can't hear, Dale. I can't hear what you're saying. Can't you? Oh, no. yeah, I, I, I can. <laughs> I, can. I, feel, I feel like, you know, on for World Cup coverage, they had they had referees on commentary, didn't they? Well, the, hmm. somewhere. And and they went, you know, they described the re- why the referee made that certain decision or whatever. And it helped it, it you know, it kind of made sense a little bit, but referee I don't I don't think referees <clears throat> are partly to blame for for you know for games but I want I want better performances from our players. You might no mind referees, I'm I'm not I'm not really bothered about the referees. I'm more about I'm more bothered about the players' performances and stuff like that. So <sighs> we want good refereeing. We need good refereeing in in every in every league in every league. But I can't remember the last decent refereeing performance that we've had. Yeah, mm. uh, yeah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating, like I say, against all you know in every league. And I'm not saying that referees going out to purpose to have a bad game, but I think you know we just need to be more consistent and. Follow rules in certain occasions. It just seems to be very, it doesn't happen, and that's frustrating thing about it for me. School predictions, Andy. Um, I want to say one nil to Reds. I don't think there'll be many goals. Um, so I'm going to go for a scrappy one nil win. I think. What do you think will be a key player for us then? Um, <coughs> well. I think it showed when Connell went off at Accrington. Um, that would it look same side. So him again. Um, I, you know, I've, I've always rated him. I think he's a good player. We need to build around him. So yeah, uh, Connell straight ball back to bit and you know um, try and break him down because, like I said before, they're they going to make it hard for us. So one nil and Luca Connell. Uh, Barnes will win yeah. for Andy. Dale, uh, Square, and who do you think would be key play for us on uh, Fleetwood, mate? I want a statement, mate. I want I want a statement performance. I want a strong performance. I want a professional performance. I want goals um, from certain people. Um, I, I, I want to say 3-1. Or do you think um, he keep my goal score? I want I want Devante Cole to score. I do. I want him to prove me wrong. Um, I think a midfield goal will come. I think Phillips might get a goal. Um, and I think Cole and Anderson. They're my they're my predictions. What about key player? I was going to be a key player for that game. Um, again, I think it's about midfield. I think it's, I think it's midfield or defensive. I think, um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Adam Phillips for key player. Adam Phillips, key player. Dave, score prediction and key player, mate. Well, I was going to go for three one as well. So um, I'll take the the one off Fleetwood and say we're going to keep a clean sheet. Mm. Oh. Um. Like as Dale, Dale said, a statement needs to be made. And, um, you know, if they've watched the game back, like we've had to watch the game, they know it's not good enough. You know, if I'd have been playing that game and I'd seen the performance levels by some players and um, the, poor, the poor areas, I'd be, you know, wanting to come out and write that. It's um, It pretty much ruined my boxing day. You know, I was having a really good Christmas up until then. I was... I was raging afterwards. I really was. It it really did upset me that much. You know, like you say, it felt like a defeat. Mm. And it just, you know. So I think a lot of people have made that statement on social media. 
and the, the players know without reading that. But even yeah, yeah. you know, if they if they have seen comments, they know, you know, that fans are not happy. It's you know, time when everyone should be happy. So uh, I think they're going to go out there on on Thursday and um, you know, put in a put in a decent performance. And yeah, I'm gonna go for I'll go for three nil. And I think I think Cole's going to get a goal. Um, Adam Phillips and Luke O'Connell for me. And your key player? Key player is going to... It's difficult between Connell and Phillips. I think mm. they're both great players. Phillips, I thought, put in a good shift on Boxing Day. You know, he, he appears all over the pitch. Um, obviously, it was his first game back after after his injury or sickness or whatever it was. Um, so he's obviously got a bit of game time. He's going to have, you know, get back to his best, hopefully, on, on Thursday. Mm. And, um, you know, Connell... He's going to have a point to prove. You know, he's taken off at half time. And, you know, you're obviously going to want to write that. So I think there's going to be, you know, a battle from the midfield. And yeah. um, so hopefully it's, hopefully it benefits us. And, um, yeah. Then then there's two of the main players and then three goals, goal scorers. But I'll take anyone at the end of the day. Absolutely anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go to an out. I think uh, Phillips, and I'd like to say Anderson for a goal from a set piece, corners. And I think, you know, if, if that does happen, then obviously it's been addressed and that. So I'm going for that, two and out. I think Fleetwood, I don't think really Fleetwood are going to offer much as a, a threat. I just think they're just going to make it awkward, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to offer as much as in, it's got to be switched on. So saying that, for me, it's a toss up between, I get where you're coming from with, with this stuff. But I think it's going to be tough between Anderson and Luke O'Connell. Uh, I think Luke O'Connell, we know what he brings to the game. And I think Mads needs to be switched on because if they're not going to be offering out, it's going to be a quick counter with them and they need to not like rest, up, rest on the laurels. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to go Anderson as a key for my key man. But I get where you're coming from with like such as Phillips and stuff. You, you want like key men to be in every department and all, all of it. But I'm looking at Anderson because in the last few games he has been reassuring and back. back. I know he's like lost Tom Edwards and that uh, through injury. But for me, two out Barnsley, Anderson, my key man. Um, so we're all going for a Barnsley win. I think it's fair to say we're all going for a a more clinical sharpness as in finishing and. To, to uh, uh, put our assertive game on onto them and not like us expect, um, like what we all think, kind of agree. At least a decent, not I won't say just referee to be fair as well, because I think some of the blame has been took away from linesmen or lines persons, like now as we call them, because we're not, but the the, the lines people was actually running line because they're as much to be able to count as well as as is the referee. Because some of the decisions, they, they, you know, they're relying on your linos to help out. And it's, they seem to be getting away with, yeah, off this offside. But, uh, you know, it's like gone to, so again, all officials, all officials need to be held accountable uh, and to be in communication. Because they've all got earpieces in. So surely they should all be in communication and be talking. And this is what I don't understand. It's like, there's so much thing what we've got like now with earpieces, uh, when, Flags go up, we get little buzzes all over and communication. There's fourth official uh, on sidelines helping out, seeing stuff what, what uh, you know, officials on pitch running game might not see. So, again, I think we all need to be held accountable, but that's just my thought. Um, so yeah, if you're going to Fleetwood, wrap up warm because I think it's going to be absolute crap weather because I've been looking at it, been on the on the weather tracker, so it's not going to be right good. So um, I think we're all looking for a, a win to be taken into New Year. Uh, more clinical, proven uh, win as well, performance, like what all guys have been saying. So Dave, Andy and Dale, appreciate you for taking your time out of the Christmas period. Oh, have a good New Year. Uh, going into New Year, we a win. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>